Hallelujah. Lift your two hands and say this loud and clear. Hmm. Say, my father, my father. I want to grow in you. Pour upon me the oil of greatness. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, release unto me the oil of greatness. Zada bara baba baba kashande re bebia rogodo re bebia barandi re bebia e rogodo re bebe re bebe ke bere bebe re bebe ka barandi re bebia zala brada re bebe re bebe ke bere bebia barandia lo poro po mio go the oil of greatness ziga da brada baba re bebe ke bere bebia barandia o raba baba baba re bebe ka bere bebia barandi zele bandele bebe ya pa mon brada re bebe re bebe ke bere bebe re bebe ka barandi zom brada re bebe re bebe ka barandia lo release unto me your god the oil of greatness Zuge de be de re be biya barandia, rege de re be be re be be ke be re be be ka barando re be biya, jada ba de re be be re be biya barando re be biya, oh re be be re be be ke be re be be re be be ke be re be be re be biya, oh re be be re be be ke be re be be re be be ke be re be biya barandia, zala ban de le be 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 re be be ke be re be biya barandi, oh kata ba da raba ba raba ba ka ban de re be biya barandi, le ban de le be re be biya barando rosh, zubrande zeba rada re be bi. Mangata bada baha zele bande le brebe bia brando mi brando rebe rebe ke berebe bia brandi zege de la bande le brebe rebe ke berebe berebe bin araba baba raba baka shanda bada raba baya o rebe rebe ke berebe berebe ke berebe berebe ke berebe bin ala brando rebe rebe ke berebe bia brandi op ya mouth begin to pray ligo zum branda raba baya rege de rebe 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 bia manda raba baka raba raba baka raba baya brandi zele bande le brebe rebe ke berebe berebe ke Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zoom Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. You are asking the Lord today, amen, by the power in the Holy Ghost, that He will begin to reveal Himself in a powerful and great way. See, the Lord has been trying to engage man. Hallelujah. Every time he reveals, the Bible says he, 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 he hides secrets, amen, based on the man's pride. And he begins to reveal them even in the dream. Hallelujah. He begins to speak to man when they are less, less busy, when they are less occupied. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in this hour, oh God, I want to hear your voice. Open my ears and open my spiritual eyes. Lord, in the name of Jesus, what do you have me to say? I need to hear from you before the end of this year. Go ahead and begin to talk to the Lord. Lord, speak to me, oh God. I want to hear the voice of God. I want to hear the voice of Elohim concerning matters. Hallelujah. Speak to my heart. Some of you have been waiting for an answer from the Lord. Some of you need directions from God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, if you obey the Lord, the voice of the Lord thy God, if thou will hearken to the very voice of the Lord thy God. And many of us have lost the ability to hear God's voice. And the true maturity begins when you hear God's voice. Lord, open my ears. Lord, restore my ears. The ability to hear the voice of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I choose not to be dumb. I choose not to be blind like a bat. Open my ears and open my eyes. Go ahead and begin to pray to God. Lord, open my eyes, open my ears. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, let every deafness inside of me be, 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 be released from me. Every form of deafness, every form of blindness be destroyed by fire. Lord, open my eyes and my ears. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Come on. Jesus say de be de re be be ka baradia ra ba ba ra ba ba ka ba ra ba ba ka baradia Thank you Lord Jesus 
Alabarabas. In Jesus' name we pray. I thank God for somebody who um, I've been praying, praying, praying for this person, and it's been a long time. Uh, she hasn't, uh, um, well, she, I mean, she's been praying for her for some certain issues, thank God. And God has been giving to, uh, victory, victory. Well, just, yeah, yeah, I believe yesterday, hallelujah, I got really, really agitated in the realm of the spirit, and uh, um, <clears throat> she was asking, you know, that she needed to be filled up with the Holy Spirit. And I began to, we began to pray. As we began to pray, amen, hallelujah. Suddenly the Lord says, tell her to speak in tongues now. And uh, because the Holy Spirit, of course, she began to shout, I could feel the presence of God, I could feel the power of God, I could feel the glory of God. And she began to cry. But soon after, amen, before she ended up, she started speaking in tongues. <laughs> For the first time. Amen. And she was speaking in tongues. I said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I love that. Because there are some other people that, would, that are also... Uh, once the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I thank God that God began to visit somebody. Amen. And visit them with the God's fire. And I believe that you are next. If you've never spoken in baptism of the Holy Ghost, I believe you are next. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I want to deal with the scripture that we need to pray fervently. Somebody say fervently. Somebody shout fervently. Am I hearing myself or uh, nobody is talking? Let me see. Somebody shout fervently. Hallelujah. Okay, let's open our Bible to Proverbs chapter 11. Proverbs chapter 11. I want to bring us something here that we need to pray. Amen. It's a must. I just feel this thing, I feel this thing in my spirit that we need to birth this in prayer. Proverbs chapter 11. Zumbra da la base che be la madesh rebe bebe be a pandoro doro dos zega de be de rebe be rebe be a baradish zada da baraba ba ya brandesh i speak to you internet be still be still be still be still by the power of the holy ghost let the wind of the spirit begin to blow by the power of the holy ghost mombrondo shula bandele be 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 a kayas oh rodorosh yes Yes. Mm. By the power in the Holy Ghost. I, 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 Holy Ghost. Ah, just get ready. Hold on. Let me see how I can share this link. Mm. What is um what's up? Okay. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Proverbs chapter 11. Proverbs chapter 11. Mm. Is somebody there? Amen. Kala de brodo subraha. Zege de bede de bebe de bebe de bebe abaradia. Hallelujah. Verse 5. Look at verse 5. Look at what it says. I'm going to read all the way to verse 7. Amen. But this is verse 5. It says, The righteousness of the prophet shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own sword. Hallelujah. He said, the righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but the transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. Are you hearing me? The transgressors shall be taken what? In their own naughtiness. Look at what it says in verse 7. Look at what it says. This is our prayer. When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish. When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish. What does that have to say? Hallelujah. Meaning, there is a prayer of a wicked man. There is a hope of a wicked man. There is a desire of a wicked man. And when that wicked expectation diet, when the man diet, his expectation shall perish with him. He said, and the hope of the unjust 
man shall perish. So there is a, in every family, there is a prayers of a wicked man and there are prayers of a righteous man. And when the prayers of a righteous man go forth, it liberates the whole family. When the prayer of a wicked man goes forth, it brings everyone into bondage and poverty and lack. It causes a man to begin to walk in failure and disgrace. And so the devil, uh, uh, the, 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 the devil, a man profits when a wicked man is raised up in a family. The devil uh, gets so happy, amen, hallelujah. He, he rejoices when a wicked man, amen, he prospers in a family, hallelujah. Because this wicked man begins to sit down on the blessings of others. Amen, this wicked man begins to control everybody by wicked words, amen. Wicked decrees. That's why the Bible says, no weapon formed against it shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee, thou shall condemn. Around this time, 5 a.m., Hallelujah. It's a bloody time whereby Christians begin to, Christians are sleeping. Amen. Hallelujah. The Christians are sleeping. But this is when uh, people of other religions, I mean, hallelujah, begin to awake around this time and they begin to call on, upon their God. Some of times they begin to face the east. Amen. Begin to invoke upon the sun before the sun rises. They begin to make enchantment. That's why the Lord says, uh, the sun will not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The sun will not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Hallelujah. Why? He said, because I've given the sun to rule by day and the night to rule by night hallelujah so but but, but people but, but 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 the bible says in psalm 19 it says what well, the heavens declare the glory of god and the, and the firmament moment show where his hand they were day unto day they pour for speech Nine thirty nine. Why? Why? Nine thirty nine. They declare the wisdom of God. Why? Heavens declare the words. Amen. And it can also be manipulated. The heavens can be manipulated against your life. The sun can begin to smite you based on the prayers that's been said against you. Hallelujah. So what you have to pray this morning. Amen. What you have to. Bible says creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Why? It is the sons of God that begin to liberate the creation. It is the sons of God that begin to speak to the elements of the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they speak to the elements of the earth, then it can rain. When you speak to the elements of the earth, you can lock the heavens. When you speak to the elements of the earth, amen, you can decide whether it snows or not. Some people say it's a lie. It's just natural. Who told you that? We have prayed on this prayer line and we have literally seen the move of God, the move of the Spirit. Hallelujah. You're going to get ready today because something is about to happen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, a wicked man, when a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish. And the hope of the unjust perisheth. So it means that the wicked man diet, his expectation shall perish. And the hope of the unjust man perish it. You're going to pray this prayer loud and clear. The wicked man, every wicked man that is in my family, making evil decrees against me. Lord, as I pray, let them expire by the blood. I don't know if you understand that prayer. In verse 7, when a wicked man diet, his expectation shall perish. Please write that scripture, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 7. Write it down and put it on your fridge. When a wicked man diet, his expectation shall perish. When a wicked man diet, whatsoever prayers has been made against your life, whatsoever decrees has been made against you, whatsoever sacrifice, rituals, amen, that has been made against you, locking up the womb, locking up your marriage, locking up your the joy of your relationship, locking up your children's brain, locking up the children's sources, amen, whoever wickedness, whoever has done this, amen, they must aspire. Say this loud and clear. When a wicked man died, his, 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 his expectation shall perish. Hallelujah. Say, my father, my father. Every wicked man sponsoring my affliction. As I begin to pray. Oh God, arise. Wipe them out. Open your mouth and begin to pray. When a wicked man diet, his expectation shall perish. Ragazaba, ragazaba, ragazaba. Wipe out, wipe out, wipe out, wipe out every wicked man. Wipe out every wicked man. Let the expectation of every wicked man, a ragada, sponsoring evil against me, be wiped out by the blood, be wiped out by the blood, be wiped out by the blood, be wiped out by the blood. Ragaza, barada, rabagaza, barada, dia, irregada, rebebebebega, baradia. I wipe out every progress of wicked men, a zumranda, a zele, make a palabaya. 
Regada Rebe Bega Rebe Bega Baradia, Rabba Baraba Bega Baradia, Rabada Rebe Baraba Bega Baradia, Rebe Bega Rebe Bega Baradia, let the wickedness of God, Rabba Baraba Bega Shanda Baha, Rabba Baraba Bega Zomboho, Rebe Rebe Bega Baradia, Rebe Rebe Bega Baradia, be wiped out by the blood, be wiped out by the blood, be wiped out by the blood, Rabba Baraba Bega Baraba Bega Baraba Baya, Regada Rebe Rebe Bega Baradia, Branda Rabba Baraba Bega Baradia. I wipe you off by the blood. Every wicked man in my family, every wicked man in my destiny, every wicked man, sponsoring wickedness against me. Blood of Jesus, my father, my father, let them be wiped out. Let them be wiped out. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You shout this prayer in that same verse 11, verse 7, verse 11, in the book of Proverbs. It says, when a wicked man dies, his expectation shall perish. His expectation shall perish. Ah, every expectation of any wicked man. Say this, Lord and Claire. Say the expectation of the wicked. The expectation of the wicked for me and my family. Perish by fire. Perish by fire. I say perish by fire. I say perish by fire. Oh, perish by fire. Perish by fire. Raga da raba ba raba ba kaza brada ya. E rondo raba ba raba ba kaza brada ya. Zele bande. Ila brada raba ba raba ba kaza brada ya. A brada raba ba raba ba kaza brada ya. O brada raba ba raba ba kaza shamba ha. Ila rondo raba ba kaza brada ya. Ila ni mo Jesus. Perish by fire. Perish by fire. Perish by fire. Mago da ba da ba da. Ribi biom rondo rosh. Raga da raba ba raba ya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. I say, perish by fire. 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 I for this year, for 2018, be destroyed by fire. Sadi bakabara dadia parados. Regede rebe be 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 ya baradia. Mazala bandele be le baby. Rogo do rebe be rebe ya brandish. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Wonderful God, wonderful God, wonderful gracious God. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Be thou exalted, O God. Somebody say glory. glory. Amen. We are going to pray also too. Hallelujah. The Bible says in that same verse, hallelujah, and the hope of unjust men perish it. And the hope of unjust men perish it. Listen to me. Hallelujah. When a man is walking in the family and begins to exert wickedness against somebody, he doesn't walk alone. Amen. With him, there are others in a demonic meeting. With him, they are always, a, uh, uh, like they say, an enemy always becomes an enemy to an enemy. When somebody hates you, hallelujah, and somebody else hates you, and the other person hates, when they discover that they, all, they both of them are of the same interest, they unite themselves to be, amen, hallelujah, an enemy to you. You're going to pray. <laughs> every network of evil, every network of wickedness against your life. Lord, their expectation perish it. Their expectation perish Open your mouth and fire prayer. Zigada barababa rebebega barandia. 
Hey, Kalaban de Lebrebia Brando Rebebia, Rogodo, Robobobobobo, Shigadabaha, their expedition perish. He perish by fire, perish. Zim Branda, Rababa, Rebebega, Berebia, Zagada, Rababa, Rababaga, Rababa, Rababaga, Barandi, Robobo, Robobaga, Berebia, Barandi, Zigadaban, Delebrebe, Berebega, Berebia, Erodo, Robobo, Rebebe, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. I like the next verse. Look at what the next verse says. Amen. Very special verse. Look at what it says, the next verse. He says, uh, hallelujah, praise God. And the righteous is delivered out of trouble and the wicked comment in his stead. The righteous is delivered from trouble and the wicked takes his place. Amen. Say this loud and clear. <clears throat> Every wickedness prepared against my life. My enemies shall take my place. Every tragic place prepared for me. Every trap, every plot prepared for me by my enemies. They shall fall by that trap. Open your mouth and begin to pray. They shall fall on that trap. Every trap prepared against my life, O God, this year. Hey, Libra do Rababaka Zambrandia. Zeleben de Lebe, Libra do Rebebebebia. They shall fall, they shall fall, they shall fall. Manga da bakate bakata batala bado. Irogodo rebebe 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 in Jesus name we pray one thing that is certain that we need to pray and address is um, you see something that says in the book of 16 in the book of verse in the book of Proverbs 11 chapter 16 verse 16 a gracious woman retained honor a strong man retained riches a gracious woman retained honor and a strong man Strong men retain riches. Hallelujah. Say, my father, my father. In this season, anoint me with your honor. Anoint me with your honor and your riches. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yade, brother, Robert Bogos, on Tolly Bibi Apaya. Mali brande lebre bebe 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 bia baradi robo bo bebe 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 bia raba ba raba ba raba ba bebe 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 bia aro do robo bo robo bo robo bo robo bo robo bo robo bo bebe bia are bebe 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 anoint me with your honor lebrando robo bo bebe bebe in the name of Jesus, In the name of Jesus, thank you, my Father. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6. I'm going to be speaking briefly. Ephesians chapter 6. God bless you, everyone, darling, this week. You, know, you will prosper therein. Amen. And whatever you do. Hallelujah. Father, we give you the praise and the glory. Spirit of God, I pray you breathe upon us today. 
breathe upon us afresh. Let the fresh oil be upon us, O God. Zondo robobo rebebe abarandere bebios. Zegelebe lebebe abarandere bebios. Rababa rebebe abarandere bebio brodosh. Shagada baraba baraba baka sabrandere bebios. Zelebe lebebe abarandere bebio brodosh bebios. Zebra do robo robo yo brando de bias raba baba raba baka shande de bebi aparados thank you lord jesus remain thank you father please please i want to beg everyone amen whether you like Donald Trump or not please spend time praying for him in this season amen spend time praying for him it is necessary it is necessary it is necessary for america 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 i feel something strong pray for him pray for him that every plan of the wicked be scattered hallelujah glory to god that the plans of the wicked over his life be scattered i go to let's go to proverbs chapter 6 i say proverbs <laughs> ephesians chapter 6 amen hallelujah Hmm. Chapter, verse 10. Verse 10. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. He says something. He says, Finally, bedroom, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. Somebody on Periscope, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Please let me know if you can hear me. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? Is it loud enough? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know if you can hear me. Good, you can hear you. Okay, good, 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 good. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Rabba Rabba Kashi de Devos. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We've come to the end time now. And right now, everything is speeding up. Every event is speeding up. And we, you watch the news and the media. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a boiling point and there is an... Um, eruption of the Arabs coming together, amen, and um, it really baffles me and it's a little bit scary that now there are major enemies that is around the world. Yes, as we get, as we the Christians begin to fall in place and possess their possession, that is when you are begin to awake the sleeping dogs. The more you see the Israelites of the Jerusalem settling down in their own place and, oh really, today, wow. So, now you see that there is going to be like massive unrest. And that's why Jesus says, he said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Uh, why? Because it is needful. Before then, if you have not visited Jerusalem before, my goodness, uh, there was so much peace and harmony in Jerusalem. Strong peace and harmony in Israel. I mean, strong peace if you've not been there. But it's unfortunate now that battles have begun. It looks like it, it will be much more tougher to travel to that region. Um... I still have to make research on that. Amen. But you must understand that we are in a particular season now that, amen. Uh, we are in a particular season now that many of you must understand that um, everything is being fastened. Amen. Please. We're breaking up on the prayer line. Jesus, help us, Lord. Okay. Let me see what I can do. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't know why I'm breaking on the prayer. Can you hear me? Okay, hold on a second. Let me do this thing. Everyone, please be patient with me on those. Uh, okay. Can you hear me, everyone? Is it is is it breaking now? Okay, let me have to hold my phone then. All right, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> so what we are seeing nowadays is for us to get really a lot. Many people have been saving food. You've been hearing about it. Many people have been thinking that okay something's gonna happen to america that everybody now will be they were they had abundance of food but they were coming to the time there's gonna be 
uh, food source, uh, sh shortage, amen, as it happened in Houston, whereby there was lack of food, amen, hallelujah. And so, so many people have been saving food and saving water, saving all kinds of stuff. Why? Because right now, our enemies have risen up to a, to a level that they are very agitated. What you see that is happening in Jerusalem is actually happening to the body of Christ now. Hallelujah. As God begins to prosper us, as God begins to give us victories, the enemies will not fold their hands. The enemy will begin to fight and begin to fight and begin to fight. Amen. That's just why now is the time that if you're going to be fasting, if you're going to be praying, if you're going to be seeking the face of God, you must double it. You must increase it. Find every group that is fasting. Every group that is doing 21 days, 40 days. Amen. Get involved. Hallelujah. Um, every ministry that you, if you feel you can fast alone, get involved. Hallelujah. So that you can be able to, you can be participating. Painting, amen, in the place of prayer. Hallelujah. We need this. We need this group. We need this place. We need to abide in that secret place because all kinds of weapons of the enemy has been released, has been launched out on believers. If there's any time now, there will be a spirit of offense that will be launched out against your life. You must guard your heart with all due diligence. You must abide in the world. Amen. That word that says, be strong in the Lord, in the power of his mind. The Bible says that Jesus was led into the wilderness and he returned in the power of the spirit. In the power of the spirit. He didn't just come come back just talking. The Bible says he was filled in the Holy Ghost and was led into the wilderness. You must get, you must be filled in the power of the spirit. You must be empowered even to fast. You must be empowered to, to put your meal a day. Put one meal aside and say, Lord, I need your power. Not for anything, just the power to be an armor. Amen. The less power you have, listen to me, every time you go through a temptation or you go through a, a, an attack or you go through something your situation that causes you to lose the power of God. Hallelujah. Or, uh, don't worry. Just go back again and put your food apart and go into fasting. It's the fasting that causes your enemies to respect you. It's the fasting that keeps the enemy away. Amen. Daniel stood out, amen, based on when he began to see God's face. Daniel stood out when he began to fast. Daniel began to call on the God of Elijah, amen, and he shook the whole empire. Why? Because Daniel had to fast. Why did he have to fast? Because he was surrounded by magicians. He was surrounded by magicians like Moses. Moses needed to go to 40 days. So was... Uh, um, so was um, uh, so was uh, uh, Daniel because he was surrounded by magicians. He was surrounded by false people. He was surrounded by the, by every 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 man or woman who walked with serpents. Amen. They walked with with the ancient serpent with great wisdom. Who gave them great wisdom, carnal wisdom. Hallelujah. So in order to walk, in order to have smart, great people who are under the operations of the devil, over the prince of this devil, you must you must arise. Amen. You must arise and begin to tap into the word of God. Let the word of God take root in you. Let the word of God abide in you. Let the word of God begin to be, when you begin to access the word of God day and night. Amen. God will begin to prosper your journey. Amen. Many of us have departed from the word of God. Why? Because the enemy is projecting all kinds of things to make us so busy. You must be a woman that Place your word, play the word of God while you are in your work. Play the word of God, amen, into your ears. Play the word of God while you are driving. Play the audio word of God, even if you are doing nothing. Why? Because the Bible says, faith coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Lord. Whether you hear the word of the Lord through a preacher, you hear the word of the Lord in a, pre, in, 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 a, in a message, or you hear the word of the Lord by the Bible, by the Holy Bible, audio Bible. Amen. Surround yourself. I love what, what people usually do. They, they plug the Bible in their ears and they go to bed. Amen. And this word of God begins to play into their spirit. Amen. Faith comes forth, even if you don't see faith comes forth and guess what every doubt in your life must die every doubt in your life must expire amen so you get ready and begin to challenge yourself that my god this very day i will be strengthened with the faith of god i'll be strengthened and empowered with god's grace today hallelujah something will happen in your life that you have never experienced Amen. You've never really experienced. Amen. But today, I put an end to every form of affliction, every form of attack that has been released against your life. I put an end to such situation by the power in the blood. Let the powers of hell that has been risen up against you be destroyed. Let it be broken. Let it be destroyed. Let it be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. This is one thing I want to exp express to you. Amen. It is needful for you to stand. Never confront. I see some people say the devil cannot try to do anything. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. The, the question is, are you strong in the lord do you know you are strong have you been to the doctor the spiritual doctor have you taken the word of the lord which is a mirror to evaluate who you are have you ever ascertained your strength in god have you said lord am i strong or am i weak in you 
Lord, talk to me. Lord, speak to me. The Bible says, be strong in the Lord. The Bible says that this cannot come and say by what? By prayer and fasting. It is by prayer. It is by fasting. You can literally disembark, dis dislodge the workings of the devil. Amen. When you begin to fast, the devil begins to understand your language. He begins to understand the authority. Without fasting, amen, you have no voice. Amen. So when you begin to hide yourself in the word of the Lord, that is good. But you must understand when bewitchments and operations and tactics of the devil is in operation, you must understand that it takes this fasting, fasting, fasting. The enemy has been trying to dis destroy our focus. The enemy has been trying to distract us. Hallelujah. It was needful for Daniel to fast in the midst of enemies. It was needful. If he, if he did not fast, even the lions would have eaten him up. If he did not fast, the fire would have consumed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hallelujah. I believe that the fasting of the spirit of god will always give you direction fasting will illuminate your eyes fasting will give you revelation it will give you divine illumination divine wisdom divine direction amen you begin to hear the voice of the voice of god it begins to it begins to it causes you to be sensitive in the, in the realms of the spirit this is what fasting does hallelujah and when fasting does it gives you this audacity and authority and you know that you know that the devil if the devil tries to make a mistake to attack you in the day of fasting you know that he's going down you know that it's going down because why fasting it gives you a is a place of power hallelujah when you are beginning to engage that place of fasting it means something happens in your life let's open our bible to Isaiah chapter Amen. Now look at what it says before we go there. It says what? Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Say what? Put upon what? Put up, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. How can you withstand the wiles of the devil? How can you withstand the, the, the winds of the devil? How can you withstand the storm of the devil? How can you withstand the deceits of the devil, the tricks, the tricks of the devil, the cunningness of the devil? How can you withstand every, every activities of the devil? Hallelujah. It is very, very, it is very, very tough to withstand it without prayer and fasting. You must understand that Jesus remember, was above because he was always going to the mountain to seek the face of God. The Bible says, the devil says, turn these stones to bread. It says, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word from the Lord of God, from the Lord. Hallelujah. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the, in the power of his mind. Hallelujah. Be strong in the Lord. Somebody say, be strong. Hallelujah. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. That is to increase in strength. To increase in strength. To increase in strength. How do you become strong in God? Hallelujah. What is the first thing to be strong in the Lord? Number one. Hallelujah. The Bible says removing the, uh, uh, the, the garment of heaviness and receiving the garment of praise. You must be a man of worship. You must be a man of praises. Amen. The Bible says inhabit the praise of his people. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, um, when you begin to praise God and begin to worship him something happens he begins to enthrone you he begins to strengthen you by praises amen it gives you gives you heavenly focus when the praises of God begins to go when you begin to appreciate the Lord you can be to thank him amen then God begins to come close to you in worship and in praises you begin to receive divine impartation hallelujah many victories of old in the Bible were won by what by wars by wars there was victories because there was everyone came together and began to fight amen there was a victory in the camp hallelujah and once you begin to engage in praise and worship angels angels are released amen remember this now without angels there will be made no manifestation of uh, in, um, in heavenly heavenly assistance the bible says where two or three are gathered i am there in the midst the word says i'm there it means angelics angels are being released angels are being released to also fight with us and fight for us hallelujah amen when joshua was standing he saw an angel of host he says are you for us or are you against us amen hallelujah when this man began to say storm be still it wasn't him just making that statement. He said, Some be still because God has sent a mighty angel to begin to fight for Joshua. Hallelujah. And so, by the reason of that authority, Joshua began to stand out. Joshua was a man of warrior. Joshua was a man who, who took no nonsense. Hallelujah. Joshua was a man who was a man who was who was strengthened in God. Amen. So, how do you be strong in God? How do you grow in God? Amen. This is one of the things we want to talk with you now. We want to talk about now. Being strong in God. Being strong in God is you putting away every carnality, every weakness. Amen. Every time you see yourself being harassed by the devil, every time you see yourself being afflicted by the devil, the first question you must ask yourself, how is the devil succeeding in my life? How is the devil gaining advantage in my life? What am I doing that is causing the devil to gain an upper hand in my life? So you have to draw these things. Amen. Number one, how do I go, do I go to bed offended? Do I go to bed offended? Is The last thing you want to do as a woman or a man, amen, is to go to bed offended. 
offended. If you go to bed offended and you've been doing it, my brother, my sister, it is time to change. Listen to me. If you go to bed offended, it's the last thing you want to do. Never go to your bed. Never go to bed offended or offended with somebody. Reconcile with the person. If you can't do it because of your pride, text the person and say, I'm sorry. Because uh, an un un uh, unconfessed sin before the Lord and uh, you're going to bed the bible says white men slept the enemy came to sort us so when you go to bed and the door is wide open hallelujah your door is wide open to the enemy you are telling the devil i'm not under god's covering every offense drives you away from god's presence hallelujah but every confess every confess sin brings you under god's grace hallelujah every confess sin brings you under god's grace and that's why the devil keeps bring, make, trying to make you to have offense in your heart so that why you are far away from his presence you are far away from his glory but when you begin to access that secret place is because why there is no offense in your heart there is love in your heart and the more you have love of god in you is the more you abide or you access that secret place and so so many people are not in that secret place amen because of one sin or the other one offense or the other they, for every sin confessed you receive a blood protection for every sin that you confess for every for when you begin to I say, Lord, show me mercy. Forgive my family. Amen. There is a wall of fire that comes around your family. When you say, Lord, forgive me for all my sins. I forgive this brother. I forgive this sister for what they've said against me. It's so offensive, but Lord, I forgive them. And yes, so that's what we're dealing with on Saturday. I mean, hallelujah, to let go of offenses. So talk to the Lord and say, Lord, have mercy. Show me your mercy. Show me your loving kindness. And when you go into that place of prayer, you begin to really commune with God. Lord, I have blown it. I have messed up. Oh, God. And you begin to talk to God. And not talking to him like a, a mighty, mighty savior, but you're talking to him, amen, with the brokenness of your heart, the brokenness of your heart. And you begin to sh you begin to talk to him, Lord, have mercy upon me. And in that place, when you begin to really talk to him and say, Lord, have mercy upon me, amen, something happens to you. The blood of Jesus comes, which is the blood of Jesus is the redemptive work of God. If the devil can go, go through the blood, he will be delivered. If the devil can go through the blood, he will be delivered. The blood of Jesus is so powerful, very efficacious. But, so when you begin to ask God, Lord, forgive me, the blood of Jesus comes upon you and envelops you. When the devil looks at you, he sees the blood. He sees Jesus. He cannot fight Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So, you you must understand that when you see, uh, be strong in the Lord. And, 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 and the next one, the next one, after you worship God, praise God. What's the next thing to do? Hallelujah. Be as, if you're a consistent worshiper, you'll see that your heart will be always be refined in the place of worship. Amen. God will come and convict you. God will worship, when you worship God, amen, you begin to draw out. In worship, you are purified. In worship, you are cleansed. And so you engage in that, amen, it begins to refine you and purge you. Hallelujah. Number two, number two. In the temptations in the book of Matthew, it talked about Jesus, the devil began to tempt, tempt Jesus. Turn these stones to bread. Why did Jesus say? He says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that cometh from the mouth of God. Why, what, what was the meaning or the interpretation of that? Turn these stones to bread. Remember this. Turn these stones to bread. Hallelujah. That he might eat. It was for the flesh. It was for the flesh. And not just that. He began to receive instruction from the devil. Naturally, he can do that, but who was giving him that command? If it was God, it was a different story. But the devil was giving him an instruction. Amen. Never receive an instruction from the devil. Never do or fulfill and obey the instructions of the devil. Every instruction, every ungodly instruction coming from uh, coming from the flesh, if you obey, hallelujah, it, it, it brings forth death. Amen. Every instruction that is brought to you, every instruction that is directed towards you, that comes from the flesh, cannot be obeyed. If you obey it, amen, the consequences is death. But when you begin to obey the word of God, amen, hallelujah, you begin to, the Bible says, if you obey him, in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, it says what? As you begin to obey God, in mean, the obey the voice of God, you will be exalted, you will be lifted. Every voice of the devil brings you to the valley. Every voice of the devil brings you, uh, brings you, it may brings you down and lower and lower and lower. But I decree by the power of the blood, this is not your portion. In the name of Jesus, this is not your portion. Zoom brede rebe bega baradia barados. Zoom zeleme de lebe rebe via baradia. Oh, rodo roba boko shende berando roba bo zibaya. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Never receive an instruction from the devil, but always follow through. Always obey the instruction from God. Amen. The instruction from God can come from the servants of God. Instruction from God can come through his word. And that is why he says that if you... Any, any, 
Hallelujah. Look at, let's follow our Bible. We read it before, but let's look at Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Look at that same word that it says. <clears throat> Verse 5. There shall not be any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Now, who is talking? The word of God. Look at what it says now in Verse 6. Look at what the verse said in verse 6. Same word is said in Ephesians chapter uh, 6, verse 10. Look how it says. It said what? It said, Be strong and be of good courage. For unto these people shall thou divide for inheritance the land which I have said unto thee. Now look at look, uh, look what it says in verse 7 again. Now God keeps saying it because he knew what Moses went through. How the Israelites hindered Moses. He repeated it again. He says, Only be thou strong very courageous and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is in the law which moses my servant commanded thee turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper whatsoever thou goest in the saying that in the word of the lord that is given to you read it let it abide in your heart follow the details of the word of god it will lead you to prosperity it will lead you to prosper it won't lead you to it won't give it will cause it, it will cause you to be victorious over your enemies your enemies will always bow and tremble before you. And this is what God will say. Now, verse 8, he emphasizes it again to Joshua. This book of the law, thou shalt meditate. Thou shalt not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein, day and night, and that thou mayest observe to do according to the, all that is within therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Then thou shalt have good success. Are you hearing me? Depart not... De book of the Lord shall not depart out of their mouth, but you must meditate upon it day and night. As you begin to meditate upon it, meditate the book of Psalms, read it daily, read it daily, hallelujah. He, he said what? You observe what good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and be of a good courage. So, what, what is the primary instruction that God is giving to Joshua? He said what? To be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Read the word of God. Meditate upon the word. Read the word of God. Digest the word of God. Let the word of God enter you. Get access into the word of the Lord. Read at least five chapters a day. Read at least five chapters a day. When you begin to meditate, when you begin to chew on the word of God, the Greek word says mortar. When you begin to mortar the word of God, you are meditating upon the word of God. And the Bible says in the book of Psalm 119, it says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. Hallelujah. So as you begin to read the word of God, God begins to guide you by the word of God. The word of God, amen, is the spirit of truth that he will lead you into all truth. When you begin to engage the word of God, the spirit of truth will begin to cause the word of God to begin to be to reminded to amen over to be replayed in your mind every time hallelujah you will see that scripture also reflected in the book of psalm 1 psalm 1 why am i replaying this because some of us we need to go back into the word of the lord we really read the word of the lord sometimes we read the word of the lord once a month once a week amen once in three days no we need to read it consistently hallelujah to see the effectual result because the devil will try to steal the word of god the devil will try to come after us but as long as we have the pillar of his light the counsel of the Lord is upon us. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seateth in the seat of the scornful. Look at what it says. It says what? You are not receiving instruction. Blessed is the man that sits on the counsel of the ungodly. You're not on the phone receiving counsel from the ungodly. You're not on CNN giving your time, your wasteful time to CNN. You are not gathering information or gathering the counsel to be directed by that. But you are receiving your counsel from the word of God. No standard in the way of sinners. No seated in the seat of discomfort. Those who begin to laugh, men of God. Those who begin to mock about ministers. Those who begin to mock about the Bible and Titan. You say, desist from that. Don't be a scorner. Don't be a scorner. Don't be a scorner. Hallelujah. Yeah, don't be a scorner. There are people going about talking about all this tight nonsense. I mean, where did this come from? The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Amen. But his delight is in the law. His law does he meditate day and night. He said, What? Verse 3. He said, What? It shall be like what? It shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. His leaves 
Amen. It shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Can I prophesy to you? One, two, three of you on this periscope. One, two, three of you I see in the name of Jesus. After today, you will be a pillar in your family. You will be a mighty tree in your family. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You will become the answer in your family. You will become the fruitful vine in your family. You will become the, the palm tree that stands in your family. His leaves shall not wither. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Your hands shall begin to prosper in every good thing that you do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at what it says. It said, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chap <coughs> with the wind drive, will drive it away. When you read the scripture, it says, Blessed is the man that walking on the counsel of God. You see that many Christians are breaking this rule in this Psalm 1. Many Christians are breaking this rule. I don't know why. Man, we are not being the scorners. We are not the one walking in the council. We, are, we ourselves have become ungodly. We speak in tongues on Sunday, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we have become ungodly. Amen. When sinners are using the F-U word, when sinners are the, using the ASS word, amen, hallelujah. Yeah, we are identifying with them. We speak those words because we want to identify with them. When we use the F word, we say profanity out of our mouth, and then we come, we come back, we say the blood of Jesus. I mean, come on. Amen. You cannot be saying such words. You can't be saying such horrible words and be connecting with the devil. You must be separate. Be a separate. Hallelujah. You must be separate, consecrated unto the Lord. Glory to be to the living God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Let's go to our Bible back. Amen. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Amen. In the power of his mind. Amen. Power of his mind. In the power of his mind. Be strong in the Lord. How do you get strong in the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. How do you get strong in the Lord? In the book of Corinthians. Let's go there. Let's go there. Hmm. Let's go there. Zodurubuko Sundabahara. Zeke Debehes. Hallelujah. Book of Corinthians. I think 14. Amen. Hallelujah. Zelebe de Bibi Aparadosh. Yandidi Akado Zundahaya. Okay. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Mm. Hallelujah. Okay, look at what it says. It says, now concerning spiritual gift, brethren, I will not have you ignored. Okay, I want to go here. This is what I want to go to. Hallelujah. Yabraka zum brendele mazonda hayas. Izuguzu mazala madesh. Thank you, Holy Spirit, oh God. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. Look at what it says. Amen. Hallelujah. Something happens when the Bible says, be strong in the Lord and in the what? In the power of his mind. Now, we've dealt with how do you get strong in the Lord? Number one, worship. Praise and worship. Number two, studying the word of the Lord. Studying the word of the Lord. Abiding in God's word. Hallelujah. Abiding in God's word. Abiding in God's word. Reading the word of the Lord. Amen. Reading the word of the Lord daily. Amen. Reading the book of Psalms. Meditating upon it. This book of the Lord. Thou shalt meditate day and night. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at what it says in, in, in the next one is uh, look at uh, First Corinthians chapter sixteen. Uh, First Corinthians chapter sixteen. It says what? Follow after charity, desire spiritual gift, but rather that ye may prophesy. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. How bet in the spirit he speaketh mysteries? Hallelujah. How bet what in the spirit he speaketh mysteries? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, somebody. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 2, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto, unto men, but he that, but unto God. For no man understandeth him, how bet in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> Look what it says in verse 4. He says what? He, for, but he, verse 3, but he that prophesied, speaketh unto men to edify, exhortation and comfort. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue, edified himself. Edified himself. But he that prophesied and defied the church. Hallelujah. Let's stop there. So it means that if you are a person or a man or a woman that begins to speak 
in tongues every day, every day, every day. As Paul says, he said, I pray in tongues that year. Listen to me. When you begin to pray in tongues, you begin the word the Bible says, the word says, unknown tongue edifies himself. The word edify is like an edifice. It's like a big building. Amen. Hallelujah. So to grow strong in God is to pray in tongues for at least an hour. Amen. If you begin to pray consistently for an hour, just pray in tongues. You begin to grow. You begin to grow. You begin to grow. Because you are uttering mysteries, unknown secrets. This, this is a language of the Spirit. And as you begin to communicate in the Spirit, amen, the more you speak in the Spirit, the more you are tuned into the Spirit, the more you become spirit conscious, hallelujah, and fleshly absent. When you become more present and more conscious in the Spirit, amen, you are, your, your spiritual... Uh, consciousness become become more aware you create more awareness around your spirit amen hallelujah and you begin to grow the more you grow in the spirit the more you speak in tongues the more you cause angelic activities around your life the more you cause the frequency of heaven to begin to overshadow you hallelujah and so some so so people don't do this they just Pray in tongues five minutes and they go into, uh, they begin to um, speak in English, pray in English, pray in English. You cannot do that. If you pray in English, the devil knows knows the plans ahead. If you pray in English, they, they, listen to me. Uh, <clears throat> There's a mystery. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, chapter 2, verse and chapter 3. When the devil began to go around, I was wondering why, 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 lose, why uh, uh, Adam and Eve did not taste of the fruit. What do you think happened? What language were they speaking? I believe it wasn't English. I believe the language they were speaking was a spirit language that, that even Lucifer did not was not able to decode what Adam and Eve were discussing. Because if they, if the, he, he understood all that, he won't be trying to communicate with Eve to get an understanding what Adam and Eve had in common. Amen. So there were some certain secrets, certain mysteries that was being discussed. Hallelujah. Certain mysteries, certain secrets that was being discussed, that was being revealed in the midst, in, 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 even in that discussion. Hallelujah. Somebody hearing me on Periscope? Can you hear me very well? Hallelujah. Please let me know on Periscope. Can you hear me very well? Is the line breaking? Hallelujah. Somebody hearing me on Periscope? If you are on Periscope, let me know. Uh, those listening to me live, are you? Can you hear me loud and clear? Okay, Amen. Amen. Praise God, praise God, praise God. The Lord bless everyone. Amen. Yeah, I hope it's not breaking. Hallelujah. Because I know somebody is joining me from Lozenberg. Somebody joining me from Lozenberg. So I know that. Uh, <clears throat> praise God. <clears throat> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So what I was saying, so so we begin to see down the scripture, we begin to see something very, very unique in this hour. Hallelujah. That even when Adam and Eve amen, begin to speak mysteries, amen, the devil tried to, to listen, to, to say, okay, what are these guys discussing? And so the devil began to interview Eve, as God said, as God said, as God said, as God said. Now, if you pray in English, the devil don't need to ask you, as God said. Hallelujah. I Amen. Hallelujah. The devil doesn't need to what? Ask you. <laughs> as God said, as God said, as God said. And this is what's been happening to a lot of people. We pray in English. We pray in English. And you think the familiar spirit will not pick your words. Who told you that? Yes. The only reason you will not pick such words is if, if you are in deep fasting. If you are, in abs if you are fasting and denying the flesh totally, amen. there's a spirit, there's a, there's a Holy Ghost that covers you, a wall of fire that comes around you. But because we live in a life that is uh, always offensive we live in a in a we don't live in a place that is offense free everybody one way or the other we can get offended over something even the devil begins to rehearse the offense of yesterday amen in our hearts even though we're forgiven and the devil will want to bring it back again by rethinking it and so some of us is 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 common with us common with the women common with the men amen hallelujah we begin to reflect on the pain of the past Hallelujah. And thereby it attaining bitterness back into our hearts. Hallelujah. So be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Amen. Praying in tongues for at least an hour. Time up yourself. Amen. And try to grow in tongues. Don't just be growing in English. When you blast in English, you think you are a prayer machine. No, the devil is gathering details. And it becomes very, if you're not getting tired, it means that you are getting sweet to pray longer and pray longer. When you pray longer, the devil has a pen and a paper writing down every details you are saying to the Lord. 
how will I be praying in English and everybody hearing me? No. Bible says he that prays in you know, unknown tongues, speaketh unknown no, no, to man, but speaketh unto God. Hallelujah. When you begin to communicate with God, it's just you and God that knows. Hallelujah. Even when you sing, you sing in worship, you sing in the Holy Ghost, you sing in tongues. It's a beautiful thing. Hallelujah. And so that is one way to be growing yourself in the Lord. You grow yourself in God. You grow yourself in God. You grow yourself in God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Then after that, what do you what do you mean by there are two kinds of tongues? There are ones that you you just speak. Uh, um, you 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 you, you is, is is a prayer language. You know, prayer language means you have your your prayer request in your heart. You have your prayer request, but instead of uttering it in English, you just pray in tongues. Now, those tongues that those words you are saying in tongues can they be understood by what you are saying? Not really. These are just noise coming out from you. These are just words coming out of you. But your heart. Amen. Is your heart? Your heart is making a request before the Lord, and these are your requests who are written in your heart. Everything instead of speaking them in English, you're speaking them in tongues. Hallelujah! Glory to God! Glory to God! I'd rather speak in tongues before God than opening my mouth and telling it all in English and letting everybody know, letting letting the unseen forces around my house to know, letting my neighbors know what I'm praying. No. You can do that. Hallelujah. It's best to pray in the tongues. But pray in the spirit. And there's another kind of tongues that when the Lord gives you an unction from above, an unction comes upon you, you begin to sound differently. You don't know what it is. You have no words. You have no imaginations. You have no requests in your heart. It's just an unction that causes, comes upon you. Sometimes I wake up and I'm sleeping and all of a sudden I wake up in tongues. And the unction comes upon me. Amen. And hallelujah. And you begin to pray and it's like it's like a heavy unction. When you begin to pray, the Holy Ghost just dropped an unction. He dropped a tongues and he wanted you to pray, to intercede for somebody. So by you just praying in tongues, zaga, 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 bara, you are empowering somebody. You are empowering the holy realms. We are empowering the angelic host. You are empowering the, the, the heavenly host. Amen. To go on into battle. To begin to fight for you. If there is a demon of uh, if there is a demon, a witch or a wizard that has been assigned to anybody, your family, your children, or even the member, even anybody on the prayer line. Hallelujah. And all of a sudden you break out in tongues. Just break out the tongues. And all of a sudden the angels receive angelic strength. When the angels receive strength, hallelujah, there's a nice powerful movie called Immortals. Immortals. And you will see how the Christians and those who are in the world, the, the demonic, how you can see how the spiritual realm, how they were strengthened, how the div divinity was strengthened by the intercession of the young ones. Hallelujah. But when you begin to pray and you begin to it's an unction that comes. And when this unction comes upon you, it's like a fire within your bones. If you go ahead and you begin to pray in the agenda and the plan of God, you might not see it. But God is using that to fight a major battle. Amen. God is using that, using that to manifest a major grace on the earth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that is why sometimes, you know, when you are just praying in tongues, you could, if you just feel like uh, you are praying English, all of a sudden you feel in tongues, as you switch in tongues, you feel like a heavy unction. I don't know how to say it. You feel like a forceful, a dunamis power, a zuzia, just comes upon you. As you feel that, just switch. Just continue, 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 until that thing lifts. Until that, until that grace lifts. Because when every grace that is being released is for an assignment, is for a purpose, is for a mission. Hallelujah. And when you now pray in tongues, you begin to buzuku, buzuku, bra. By you praying in tongues also too, you are reviving all the gift. You are stirring up your giftings within you. You are stirring up your potentials within you. You are stirring up your virtues. What are the virtues? Virtues comes with wisdom. Virtues are the things that God has put inside of you to get wealth. Virtues has been, are, are, are all the components placed inside of you to make you great. Hallelujah. What are virtues? We see there those virtues in the book of Psalms. Let's go there. Psalm 8, Psalm 8, Psalm 8. Hallelujah. You've heard me talk about it, Psalm 8, a lot. Some of you who are flowing with us, Psalm 8. Look at that scripture. Hallelujah. He said, look at verse 3. He says, when I consider the heavens and the works of thy fingers, the moon, chapter 8, verse 3, the moon, the works of thy fingers, the moon, the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of? Not the son of man that thou visitest him. Verse 5, thou hast made him a little lower than the angels and hast crowned him with glory and with honor. He said, thou hast made him to have dominion over the works of the hands. Thou hast made him to have dominion. So there is dominion planted in you. Hallelujah. And thou hast put all things under his feet. All the sheep and the horse, and yea, the beast of the field, the fowl of the air, the fish of the sea, whatsoever passeth through the paths of the sea. 
So everything, every beast of the sea, everything that the demons are using to, to terrify our lives has been committed to our hands. We have delegated authority placed upon us. Hallelujah. Amen. But the devil is trying to hijack this authority. Amen. Hallelujah. The same authority that was given to all of us is the same devil. The, same, uh, the devil himself was trying to use the beast, lions, to terrify Daniel. To terrify Daniel. Whereas we are made a, a king over this beast. Hallelujah. Glory to God. These are virtues that have been planted inside of us. These are virtues that have been planted inside of us. Hallelujah. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. The, the, the last one, the power of his mind, before we start prayer, the power of his mind. How many of you know that Jesus, the Bible says, he went into fasting, he drove into the wilderness. When he returned back, he came back in the power of the Spirit of God. The power of his mind is one of the greatest things because the devil can be very, very, very diabolic. There are people who are fasting for 250 days to attack with believers. Hallelujah. Which is gathered together, amen, in in, uh, <clears throat> in South Africa, Cape Town, South Africa, to fast for 235 days, amen, against Christians. And they began to fast. That what? The Christian marriages be pulled down. Christian, they, they be divorced in Christian marriages. Hallelujah. And those who were in that territory to, did not, took it lightly. And before you know it, marriages began to break sporadically. Hallelujah. All kinds of things began to break amen, in that city. Amen. Now there's so much divorce rate in South Africa. Why? Which is gathered together to break and to target the marriages of Christians. You're going to pray today because the power of the mind is a very, very, when you are, when you begin to fast, you gain an advantage over the works of the devil. You become secured. Your family and your, your family yourself become secured. And so the, 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 the Lord Holy Ghost took Jesus into the wilderness to start fasting before he started the work of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You're going to pray today. We just have our mouths close to 12, 13 to 14 days to the end of this year. Holy Spirit, overshadow me now. Holy Spirit, release your fire upon me. Holy Spirit, oh God, grace me. Write upon my heart, oh God, divine instruction. Divine instruction for my life. Are you ready to pray? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You go ahead and begin to talk to the Lord. Say, my father, my father. Oh, I can't hear you. Say, my father, my father. Hmm. As I begin to pray now, empower me to defeat my enemies. Say, my father, my father. The word empower means, the Bible says, put on the whole armor of the Lord. Amen. Put on what? Ah, don't sleep on me. He said, put on the whole armor, the whole armor, the whole armor of God. Now, I'm going to share something with you quickly before we go. Amen. What is the armor of God? What is the armor? What is the armor? Can we go back to that Ephesians chapter 6? And then we round up here. Ephesians chapter 6, and then we round up. The whole armor of God is something that is very, very, very powerful. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Gracious God. Gracious God. Mm. Oh, Kyondo Zumbra Handelia. He says, What? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Powers against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. Look at what it says now. Stand in verse 14. Standing therefore, having your loins going about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness. This breastplate of righteousness, what is it about? We're going further. And your feet shod the preparation of the gospel of peace. Hallelujah. Above all, taking up the shield of faith, where when you are able to quench every fiery darts of the wicked. Verse 17, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Verse 18, it says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, watching the earth to all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And he will say, and for me, that all trance be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make 
know the mystery of the gospel. Now he's asking for intercession for his life. Now, now, why am I? Why am I? Why are we going about with this? Remember this: in the beginning, God says, "Let's create man in our own image." So man was created in his own image. But many of my encounters I've had with God, I've seen God with an armor of light. His rope that he wore was light. I didn't see the breastplate of righteousness. Neither did I see a shield or helmet of salvation. I didn't see all that. Hallelujah. What I saw was like his rope was like a thickness, like a blanket of light. Hallelujah. Amen. When I laid prostrate before him and I looked up and I saw uh, between my hands a sanders, a man's sanders. When I looked up, I saw there was a, I just thought, I thought it was a blanket. I thought it was a light. It was like a pillar of light. But in the pillar of light, I saw a man's legs. I saw a man's uh, feet, a man with his sandals. When I looked up, then I could see the man's uh, light with a belt. Then I could see, then I realized that this is not just a dress. This is a man himself, a man, Jesus himself, like a light, fullness of light. So it means that in every armor that we have, element of salvation is a light. The cloth is a light. When men sinned, they became naked. Now darkness was upon them. There was no light anymore. They began to see their real inner parts. Hallelujah. But, but, but the cloth was light. I don't know how many of you understand what I'm talking about. So the more we glorify God, the more we walk in righteousness, we more, the more we glow in the Lord. The more our light becomes brighter and brighter. Let the path of the just shine it more and more unto a perfect day. The path of the just. Hallelujah. The path of a just man. So the light of God begin to shine, begin to shine, begin to shine, and it must shine. So when the devil looks at you, they don't see the brightness of God's light. Amen. They, don't, they know that there is a sin that exists. They know that you'll be commingling with, 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 with darkness. Hallelujah. And, uh, and that's why the Bible says, Blessed is the man that standeth not in the way of sinners. Why? Because your light can be covered by darkness. Amen. Your light can be covered. It can be covered. It can be intermingled. And when you, darkness cannot mingle with light, Hallelujah. You must be separate. Amen. My prayer for you today is that you're going to pray to God. Hallelujah. Lord, increase my light. Lord, increase my light. Amen. Now, these two prayers we're going to pray. Number one prayer. Lord, I am hungry for you. Lord, make me hungry. Because, listen to me, once a man loses his appetite for the Lord, you begin to lose appetite for prayer. It looks like there are other things that will begin to grab your attention. Amen. But when a man is hungry, for the Lord. You are hungry for food. You are just focused on it. You just want to get food. If you are hungry for water, you just want water. You don't want to listen to anybody. Amen. So no matter the temptation that is out there, if you are so hungry, so hungry, so hungry, when your hunger supersedes every form of temptation, you cannot be, you cannot be tempted because your hunger, your, when your hunger enters inside of you, you are a different person. You are going to cry to God, to, to, to the Lord today. Lord, make me hungry. Make me hungry for righteousness. Make me hungry for the things of God. Father, Lord Jesus, make me hungry for you. Make me hungry for you. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God. Lord, my Father, Lord, I am hungry. Make me hungry. Lord, make me hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Hungry for the things of God. Father, make me hungry. Zele bandele bebe kapaya, mombra da rebe biga rebe biapa, jan de braba bara baba bara bara baba baba dorio, e zele mendele rebe rebe biga rebe biabaradi. Lord, make me hungry, hungry, hungry. Zi de rebe 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 biga rebe biga rebe bia, abra da raba bara baba baba rebe biga rebe biabaradi. Lord, make me hungry, hungry for you, hungry for the things of God, hungry, O oh God. Lord, I want to be hungry. I want to be hungry. I want to be hungry. Give me appetite. Appetite for prayer. Appetite for your word. Appetite for the things of God. Appetite for holiness. Appetite for fasting. Give me appetite. 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 Oh, give me a holy hunger. Hunger for the things of God. Hunger for righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. My father, my father. Say, by your mercy, with your light, say with aggression, say with your light, cover every nakedness in my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My father, my father, by your mercy. Cover every darkness in my life with your light. Oh God, by your light, cover every darkness in my life. 
cover every shame, every shame in my life, every nakedness, every exposure, every weakness in my life. Cover me with your light. Zinda mandelebe, rege de rebebe gabaradia. Oh, rababa, rebebe gabarabe gabarandia. Lord, cover me with your light this day. Zege de brada, rababa ya brande. Zumbre de rebebe gabarabe 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 bia. Ah, rababa rebebe rebebe gabarabe rebebe gabarabe bia. My father, my father, cover me with your light. Cover me with your light. Le brada rababa rebebe gabaradia. Oh God, cover me with your light, oh God. Let your light break forth in my life. Let your light overshadow me, O oh God. Overshadow every darkness in my life. Overshadow every nakedness in my life. Overshadow my mind with your light. Overshadow my heart with your light. Light of God, overshadow me. 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 Hey, Zembranda Rakato Paradadia. Zelebrebebe Ribebi Abaradi. Zumbradaha. In Jesus' name we are praying. Hallelujah. The Bible says it will surround you with favor as with a shield. Lord, say, my father, my father. Be a wall of fire around about me and my family. Up your mouth, I begin to pray. My father, my father, be a wall of fire. A wall of fire, a wall of fire. Mazuga daba labade. Lord, be a wall of fire round about me and my family. Zombre de rebebege berebebege berebebi abaradia. Ombra da rabababa bababo. Jege de lebre berebebege berebebi a. Raga da rababa rababaga berebebe rebebege berebebi a. Oh God, be a wall of fire round about me. Be a wall of fire round about me and my family. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Eh ro 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 rebebi abaradi. Zege le berebebe rebebege berebebi abaradi a. Build a wall of fire round about me and my family by the power in the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my father, my father. I want to be a carrier of divine favor. Therefore, baptize me with divine favor. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My father, my father, baptize me with divine favor. Rabba baba ka shandele bondolia. Regede rebe 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 Lord, baptize me with divine favor. Lord, baptize me with divine favor. Oh, rabba, 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 Baptize me with divine favor. Rondo in Jesus' name we pray. My Father, my Father, by your mercy, heal me from every sickness and disease. 
Go ahead and begin to pray. The power of the Lord is here. Zombre de Rebebega Berebebia Baradi. Oh Rebebe Rebebega Berebebia. Mambra da Rababa Rababaga Barababa Rababaga Zabaradia. Oh Rebebe Rebebega Berebebia. E Rodo Rebebe Rebebia. Mamdo Rababa Rababaga Barababaga Barababa Rebebia. Jedebe de Rebebe Rebebega Berebebia Baradia. Oh Rababa Baba. Jede Rebebia Barados. Zumble de Lebebia. Rababa rebebega berebebe rebebega berebebia lo zumbra de rebebe rebebega berebebe rebebega berebebega berebebia healing power of the lord lebrando rebebia begin to overshadow your people begin to move like a river ronda rebebe rebebega berebebega berebebega berando rebebia barandia e rebebe rebebega berebebega berebebega berandi rebebia healing palabanto lebebe rebebe rebebia river of healing power river river of grace rega de rebebe rebebe rebebega berebebe rebebega berebebia manda rababa rababa Jesus, Heal your people, Lord. Heal your people, Lord. Heal your people, Lord. Oh, Labrada Rebebia Bradia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Rada Rababa Rebebega Berebebia. Mando Robobo. Somebody here with a blood condition. You are being healed now. The Holy Spirit is healing your blood condition right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Eh, Rada Rababa Rebebia. Mando Rababa Rebebega Barandi Rebebium. The poundness of your heart, the noisiness of your heart is being healed now. The uh, heart palpitation. The Lord is healing your heart right now in the name of Jesus. Sande Braba Baka Brondo Rebebega Barandia. Is Zelebra that itchiness in your hand that movement in your hand God is healing that hand now in the name of Jesus every arthritis dries up by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ I decree the pain in your shoulder is being lifted now in the name of Jesus salt throat is being healed now in the name of Jesus every flu dries up now blockiness in the nose is healed now in the name of Jesus right now that voice speaking to your ears I silence that voice now by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Be healed now, be healed now, be healed now. Rabababa Kabaranderia. Skin rashness, rashness is being healed now by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hey, migraines, right now, in the name of Jesus, loose that woman right now. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. You spirit of migraine. Headache pounding in the head. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. I speak joy in your situation. Receive the joy of the Lord. Receive the joy of the Lord. Receive the joy of His presence. Receive the joy, the joy of the Holy Ghost. Let it overshadow you right now. Mango Rabba Barabba Baka Semba Antele Bibia. Barandia. In the name of Jesus. I bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Please, I beg of you. Amen. Many people misunderstand people a lot. Many people misunderstand me a lot. I don't know why, but it is well. Hallelujah. You are loved. You are blessed. You are highly lifted up. The grace of the Lord is upon you. God will empower you to prosper. I decree that every sickness and disease that is under the instruction and the laws of Satan, I command that thing to die to his roots. And I speak life into your body, into your soul. From today, you are healed from today. Every medical clinical prophecy for your life is hereby cancelled. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let me give you my number. I don't know who it is that needs my number, but my number is 612-701-5983. You need to talk to me, send me a text, and I'll call you. 612-701-5983. 612-701-5983.
you call it from London. Oh boy. All right. Still send me a text. 612-701. Area code is plus one. 612-701-5983. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord guide you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. We 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 sorry for the delay today. Hallelujah. Amen. Sorry for the delay. God bless everyone today. Love you. All right. Let's share the grace before we go. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you. Bye-bye now. Any, any other person? Any other, any other message? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Work. Well, be strong in him and be empowered. Hallelujah. Bye-bye now. Viewers, God bless you. <clears throat> oh, my family, God bless you. God bless you.